Tonight, tracking the tropics. Hello, everybody. Glad it's Friday. I'm Jeannie Blaylock. I'm Heather Crawford. Anthony Austin has the night off. Tonight, we are tracking Hurricane Lee. It is a major hurricane churning right now in the open Atlantic. It's a category four storm packing a punch. Look at this video of the Hurricane Hunters flight inside the eye wall of the storm. This was last night. You see that constant flash of lightning. At that time, it was a powerful category five, the most powerful hurricane strength. Meteorologist Robert Spetta joins us now. So Robert, who should really be the most concerned about Lee right now? Oh, well, um, anybody flying through this storm like that, my goodness, not here on the first coast though. That, that's the good news. It actually is going to stay north of Puerto Rico, north of Lesser Antilles. Uh, the Canadian Maritimes uh, is where the guidance points it at this point. But remember, this is all still long range. We still got a lot of time to watch this, but that video uh, let's talk about that for a second because showing that rapid intensification of this storm system and it's the reason why we have hurricane hunters that fly in there because without them we wouldn't have known this was a cat five. Uh, it was rapidly strengthening. That's the reason why we had all that lightning just doing all these loops out here last night. This is the plot of that flight as it was going through here and it found that pressure 920 millibars. No, that might not mean a lot to you, but uh, that's winds over 200 miles per hour in there. My goodness. Uh, since then, since last night, these things change often. A little bit of dry air has worked its way in. It has gone down to a cat four. That is still a major hurricane. It's expected to maintain that intensity as it pushes off here towards the northwest and eventually it's going to start to turn north. That's all thanks to this uh, front that's actually going to be scooting off our coast. And that's going to keep her well towards the east uh, about, about three to five hundred miles. Now, our problem here on the first coast, we will have some indirect impacts being uh, waves, rip currents, things like that. But do not expect to have those direct impacts from this major hurricane. I